It's evolving. Hello everyone, welcome. I am here to remind you to temper your expectations for this video. My name is Matt and today I'm doing a first time reaction for Shin Godzilla directed by Hideki Anno and uh, Shinji Higuchi. Let me adjust my camera here. Ah. So I'm in the process of phasing out these intros uh, because nobody watches them. But I did want to address something. I've gotten this question quite a lot. And the question is, do you plan on doing a reaction or do, do you do I plan on doing a reaction for every single Godzilla movie? And the answer at this time is not right now. OK, there are over 30 films and I only can put out one video a week. So if I were to put out a Godzilla vi film every single week, um, that would put me in like sometime in February or something. I can't math right now, but that's going to be it's going to be nothing but Godzilla content from here on out for the rest of this year. And while I'm very much enjoying this franchise and I want to see more Godzilla films, I want this channel to be uh, more than just monster movie related content. I want it to branch out a little bit. I want it to be animated stuff. I want it to be uh, dramas and some more indie films and stuff. I want to do, I just want to branch. I want to diversify, you know, so no, not at this time. That being said, I know that there is a strict uh, chronology to follow to watch the Godzilla films. I've gotten plenty of comments pretty much detailing uh, verbal uh, flowcharts as to which ones I should watch first. Uh, but this one w got constant praise, and this one was recommended to me quite a bit, and it was kind of a one-off. And this is more set up as more of a horror movie, so this one won't affect the chronology at all from my understanding from what you all have been telling me. So I'm really ready. Uh, really ready. I'm really <laughs> excited to kick this off uh, to watch another Godzilla movie. It's been a minute. And uh, yeah, I, I want to thank you all for sticking along with me and tempering your expectations uh, because a lot of you are Godzilla fans. So thank you so much. I very much enjoy all the uh, commentary and all the uh, the insight you have to this universe. So thank you. Uh, so without further ado, let's just kick it off. And here we, I forgot my slate. Here we go. <laughs> So I didn't know that there was actually two versions, and so I'm going to go with the original Japanese version. I'm willing to bet that's the one y'all probably want me to react to. Although it says no subtitles available. Crap. All right, I'm sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to go with just the regular Shin Godzilla, at least the, the English version, because the Japanese version does not have subtitle option, and I don't understand Japanese. I don't speak it, so... I'm just gonna have to go with the original version. If the movies are different, or if there's like something that um, I'm going to miss by missing out on the Japanese version, please let me know down in the comments. But that is a very Japanese logo. Funimation. Oh, I recognize the 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 the, the, the Toho thing uh, logo. Oh. Yeah, I called it. Yes. Yeah. Sounds like the original sound effect too. <laughs> Tokyo Bay off the coast of Yokohama. We just spotted a pleasure craft drifting offshore of Honda. Oh, it's a dub. Sorry. Hello? Anyone it's, here? Gets off to a fast start. I'm trying to get like myself situated and they're already on a on a boat. No sign of life. Sign of life. Just some personal effects. Got an origami crane. No traces of an incident. We'll prepare a tow. <laughs> Whoa. Woo, big explosion in the water. Oh, sh there's a tunnel. Water is pouring into the auto lanes. A liaison office has already been set up and an emergency order issued. Crisis Management Center's operation room. Hamanami Coast Guard efforts are being stymied by the steam cloud that's in the bay. Kawasaki Man Made Island. This is getting off to a really quick start. I don't know how to take all this in right now. We'll need to reorganize. FDMA Disaster Task Force is currently assembling. A coastal evacuation advisory has been issued to the public. Attention! Okay, Please that's good. The this way, and watch your head. <laughs> That'd be so scary to me. <laughs> it's like a slide. Oh, let's go. Smooth. 
so much text going on. This is starting to freak me out. Hey, what's that? What? I can't keep up. This is really fast. I think I saw the dorsal fins. Haven't been able to ascertain the cause of the tunnel rupture yet. Obviously, some type of undersea thermal discharge has occurred, but do we have any idea as to its cause? We believe the fissure was created by magma steam. We're now confident that it's not volcanic activity. You should have shared that info with me sooner. Sorry, sir. I mean, got a point. Is a new large hydrothermal vent. Yeah, that must be it. Come on, a vent directly above the tunnel? Right, that also makes sense. The cause is something on the seafloor. Like what? A colossal creature, sir. I'm assuming this takes place in its own universe where they don't know they don't know of the existence of Godzilla. I also read that this was more based off of uh, the fears of the Fukushima disaster with the nuclear plant. Listen, you're going to have to toe the line on their decision. Don't stir things up, okay? I just think that we should consider every possibility. That's good. good. But I got you here is yes, Akasaka. Man, I can't keep up with this. <sighs> I get the gist of what's happening. It's just a lot going on. I'm happy to report that all those injured in the tunnel are receiving care. We're currently at evacuation preparedness level one. Please forgive me. As a pristine clinical room. No flights will be going in or out until further notice. Okay. Following abbreviated. So we jumped in time. It's fortunate that no toxic gases whatsoever have been detected thus far. I've been notified that eruption activity is dying down rapidly. All right then. What is that, blood? Is it over? Sir, the presence of a large marine creature has a possible cause. He's bringing it up in the board this meeting. Is Here a we go. This matter, not some joke. I agree. This is a ministerial meeting after all. Don't make a mockery of it. Well, there's your mockery right there. <laughs> Big tail. With no time frame for restoration, we can expect Sorry? those losses mm -hmm. to swell. Those, those losses to swell. Who did the voiceovers? <laughs> How do we respond to something that's unprecedented? I vote for extermination. Of course you and do. And I concur. And you? Defense? While it's true that we've prepared for a wildlife-based threat before, it was never with self-defense forces using weapons in the bay. I vote no. Why blow it up? Can't we chase it off? We might want to factor in the public's opinion as well. I like that's a big, huge think tank and brainstorming an idea rather than just one person taking the credit and saying, I have authority, I have the leadership, so therefore you're going to listen to me. I'm glad that they're all, like, speaking and understanding each other. Sorry, who are you addressing? <laughs> it's alive, isn't it? The creature's just... Yep, it's moving. It appears to be entering the tunnel river. <gasps> oh, there goes the tunnel. The Bayshore Expressway. It's flooding. Damn, not again. Forget capturing it. Sir. Three experts have arrived. I suggest we go consult with them right now. I already like the guy in the middle. Possibly be a relic dinosaur or some undiscovered whale species. In my opinion, the creature is a heretofore unknown aquatic species. Since I don't know if this footage is legitimate, I cannot say. <laughs> they all can't verify. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. Whoa. That was a huge waste of time. I agree, sir. Those experts were useless. Get me some people who know something. He knows something. Shimoda. Well, I do have a college friend who's with the Environment Ministry. Hey, call her now. This creature, it appears to be serpentine with auxiliary ambulation, and even though it possesses gills, it also has legs just like a lungfish does. If it has legs, then can it come on land? Yes, it's a possibility. It'd more than likely be crushed by the immense weight of its own body. Hmm. So it coming ashore should be physiologically impossible. We can't be sure of that since we're dealing with an unknown animal. I'd like to humbly suggest that the sooner we hold an official press conference to calm the public, the better. Let's do this. Please get my uniform ready. Oh, we're not going to get a montage? It's... Look at all those boats. That's insane. Good effects, though. Good effects. But we don't believe that it can come on land. Sorry to interrupt. It has? Spoke too soon. What the? Well, well. Well, now what? I was just proven a liar on TV. I wanted to reassure the public. I'm at a loss for words. I did not expect that. Am I watching the same movie? That is terrifying. In a weird way. I thought that was Godzilla. Is this not the same creature? is currently headed towards Shinagawa. I think the eyes are an homage to the original. I could still reach Tokyo in three hours at that pace. 
I thought the orders would have come much sooner. I can't say I'm surprised. The first responses manual doesn't cover this. Yeah, why would it? The good music and good tension building up. That's just really unnerving with that face, though. It's like I can't walk yet. It's like a baby. Hun, hurry! Oh man! Get out! Get out! Oh! Oh, they're gone! Wow! Oh! Contact public safety. Requesting self-defense forces to come exterminate that thing. Article 76 says in an armed attack, self-defense troops are... I wonder if that's actually in the, uh, in the books. Yeah, this is definitely a different movie than I was expecting. Put it in a good way. I'm enjoying the, uh, the back and forth on how to handle this situation. You're talking about a declaration with no precedent. Mobilizing the country for war. Not since World War II have they done that, to my knowledge, I think. The U.S. forces are here. Can't we get them to kill this beast under the security treaty? Even under the treaty, the U.S. can only provide support. Hmm. Aggravating it might lead to more damage. It is an organism. We can halt its progress. Live, sir. Sir. I like I how everyone's getting a, a minute to speak and speak their mind. Your authorization is needed. Wait, right this instant? Yeah. He's also called for the first ever mobilization of self-defense forces in this nation's history. This makes it Japan's first military action since World War II. All right, so I was right about that. Shall we deploy F-2s from Misawa base? No, any civilian casualties could destroy the SDF forever. Thank you for being humane about that. Unfortunately, under conditions like these, yeah. I'd say some collateral damage is unavoidable now. Mm, uh, I hate to say it, but I think he's right. one has attack helicopter. Kind of looks like a Cobra. Or an Apache or... Well, yeah, that thing. <laughs> I know planes. <laughs> Yeah, the eyes are unnerving, but the creature design is really cool. I like how gravity's kind of taking hold, where he can barely, like, lift himself up. Assuming he gets a fail. <laughs> this is so unnerving. Is it gonna grow arms? Or is it just gonna die? Okay. <laughs> and it's dead. I don't like that sound. Looks like it's in pain, like so much pain. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? What is going on? What? The original sound. Oh, it's evolving. Okay, all right. It's got the music too. The tail looks like it has a mind of its own. Hey, trains, just like in the first one. Yeah, there is some homage to the first one here. And just like the first one, you had jets attacking it. Well, I mean, every Godzilla movie has had some air support of some kind attacking. Why? <laughs> Nothing is much bigger now. I was just informed that resident evacuation is complete. Commence fire! Over! Once again, don't think that's such a bright idea. Wait! Hold your fire! Oh, a train. I mean, duh, it was on the tracks. We just spotted a few civilians near the line. Oh, gosh. Can we fire if civilians are present? Now, sir. Wait, just wait a minute. Abort. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do it now. Copy that. Oh, my God, a movie. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like how his teeth look gnarlier now. Oh, man. Just destroys that building. All flights out of Narita have been canceled. We have several <laughs> reports of fire. Some very interesting cuts in this movie. I'd like to go to Tokyo someday. I I'd like to go anywhere. <laughs> Just go outside of the United States for a little while. It did all this? We did, wasting time with our response. I wouldn't beat yourself up that much. Know what it could do. Exactly. It surprised us. Everyone did their best in the circumstances. Yeah, I, I agree. Don't be so damn smug. <laughs> well, well. What's interesting is that I don't know if there's like a protagonist per se in this movie. I think it's just a collective protagonist. Like it's an ensemble cast of people I don't know, but <laughs> it's definitely like a collective of people trying to work together. I think everybody here is a protagonist. That's right. You don't say. But I still need you to pick the team. Can you do that for me? Of course I can. I'll bring you people who speak their minds to the PM. Good. Tachiko. I'm Takeo. Ready? <clears throat> Lift. And when I say interesting cuts, I mean interesting cuts. Sometimes I just don't know what's going on. 
Uh, but it looks like they're setting up a uh, triage, no, not triage, a uh, task force center. We're relying on you, a crack team of lone wolves, nerds, troublemakers, general pains, and the butt of the bureaucracy. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Here are the basic specs we have on the creature. <laughs> Music's like people's court. <laughs> they were too baffled to conclude anything, and then people died as a result. A simple profile I put together. A simple profile. I think the communication with it is unlikely. Hmm. What's this thing's energy source? At that size, oxygen conversion in its digestive tract just wouldn't be enough. Maybe the right. answer is nuclear fission. Sense of humor, Miss Ogashira? That's impossible. Oh, I thought they were gonna go explain in that. Correct. I have orders not to go public about this just yet, but radiation levels in the metro area have risen and- Could this be caused by a leak somewhere? My teams inspected all of the nation's reactors and didn't find a leak at any of them. Then where's it coming from? <laughs> he figured it out! <laughs> Quick! Calm down, dude. Status. Look at this! See? Calm down, dude. Making me anxious. Miss Ogashiro was right after all. His radiation. I can't read any of this. Apparently already gone viral. The PM needs to call a press conference right away, sir. I wonder if those uh those heat wave maps they look similar to the uh excuse me, their radiation in the water when the uh, 2011 disaster happened. Goromaki's missing. His boat was found adrift a few days ago. Oh, that was the boat. Miss Patterson, were you only looking for Goro Maki? Or this as well? Mmm, the dossier they found. Do you want to confirm this? No need. I trust you. God... Godzilla? Godzilla. That's right. It's the DOE's code name. He gave it an English name. Gojira means God Incarnate. God Incarnate? Oh, I didn't know that. That's apparently why he put God in the name that he gave it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> regards to the giant creature, Gojira is the unofficial name by which the government is called. I recognize it. the symbols. Find out all that you can about this guy. Do so and you'll get an exclusive when the time's right to go to print. Hope that's enticing enough. Sure is. <laughs> Very short scenes, just quick pace. But this is all about unregulated dumping of radioactive materials. <laughs> Gojira fed on these. Personal service. Personal service. This is what Goro Maki left behind. I can't make sense of it. Neither can I. Can somebody. This thing's not a molecular array. We now have the complete version we can study. Can we do that? Sure. Let's take a picture. Oh. I'm bad at Japanese honorifics, so can we be informal? Jesus. Gotta flirt it up at the time like this. I can't believe it. The security bill passed so easily. Foreign Ministry muscle. The U.S. wants to use its Gojira info as a diplomatic card. Just a lot of bureaucracy and diplomacy in this movie, and I, I'm digging it, honestly, but I, uh, I didn't expect it like this. Gojira? Its body is harboring new elements that are unknown to science. Well, this certainly explains why the U.S. Department of Energy moved so quickly. Yeah, because the Department of Energy handles the nuclear stuff. Radiation has risen to 0.5 sieverts. What is a sievert? SI unit of dose equivalent, the biological effect of ionizing radiation, equal to an effective dose of a joule of energy per kilogram of recipient mass. All right, thank you. That is exactly what we're all here to find out, Professor. Gojira has something akin to a nuclear reactor in its body, mm. and its fins must serve as heat vents. Oh, and that's the waste coming out of his gills. Then not only would we need to force Gojira to shut off its internal reactor, but also find a way to cool its blood down, and so much so that we can immobilize the creature. What about administering a blood coagulating drug? That's a big syringe. Whoa, now he looks really menacing. That tail is so long. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. This is an emergency evacuation order. Wow. And the power lines. He's going to walk right through them again. <laughs> I love the uh, ground perspective from that angle. It just shows the immensity and, the, and how big he is. Gojira's evolved and into its fourth form. Fourth form. Ha <laughs> ha. He's got the claws now on his fingers. This is going to be disastrous. Such a wonderful shot. Damn. 
Look how long that tail I can't get over that how big that tail is. Currently projected to reach Tokyo in three hours. Why the hell is it coming here? Uh, that was my question. But Tokyo Bay is gonna cool him off, I guess. Cell phone footage of it. Oh, that tail's gonna oh, okay. I thought the tail was gonna come down and like slap him. <laughs> well, sir. Commence attack. Right away, sir. She wants that. Right. The Prime Minister has just ordered an attack. We've been given unrestricted weapon use. Just don't be reckless with it. And the Tama River will be our absolute defense line. Runway one zero, cleared for takeoff. F two fighters. All right. Tanks and artillery have been deployed to Monaco Bridge. A lot of tanks. Please let this work. Any tech helicopter squadron. I'm kind of an. I'm really like the subtitles of what type of squadrons and the places are. Target distance at 1200 meters. Commence fire. Over. CO1 copy. Commencing fire. CO1 copy. It's not gonna do anything. Try the Apache's 30 millimeter. Oh. Permission to use missiles, sir. I authorize the use of all weapons. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Ooh. I mean, they're very accurate, their hits, but whoo, that's not gonna do much. Love that music. All direct hits, but no visible damage sustained. Hell yeah. Still alive. Keep firing! He's <laughs> just like, you ain't doing anything to me. Good. Now commence artillery fire. Oh, 155 millimeter howitzer? Whew. Man, nothing. Nothing's working. That's so cool. And I'm glad that they're firing from a distance. Now they got rockets. What's next? Whew. Wow, they can guide it. It just bounces off and explodes. Whoa! Still wasn't even phased by it. Ooh. Damn. So glad there's no buildings around there. But destroys the bridge anyway. Oh, oh no. Oh, one got hit. Ah. Oh. His teeth are just sharper now. He's more menacing. Ah. Oh. I just heard from the USAF. A squadron of stealth bombers is already en route. Oh. You got a B2 inbound? All right. US security which Ooh, that was cool. Yeah, that, I mean, that would knock out the power. Realistically. The US will soon launch attack on Gojira. Wait, did, the did they talk to the Prime Minister about this? Did, or did the US just authorize it already? I... That score. <laughs> this resonance is directly in Gojira's path, sir. You're saying... That we should evacuate? Yes. Duh. Both you and the entire cabinet. Just as the U.S. strike is about to begin, I can't abandon the citizens here. Remember, you have an entire nation to protect, but you can't do that if you're dead, sir. Right, right. Very well. Yep, there he is. There's that infamous boom. Gojira. Just got word. The strike's going to occur ahead of schedule. <laughs> Oh! Obstruct the target! Direct hit! It's confirmed bleeding! Oh crap. Oh, wasn't this stuff like boiling hot? Like radioactive almost? Oh. Did he actually get hurt? Oh no, he's gonna do the uh, the atomic breath, isn't he? Oh, I love that music! The mouth opened up like that? Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! That's way cooler than any of the American ones. Damn, took out the bomber. Yeah, that's way cooler than the Godzilla 2014 one, in my opinion. What? I didn't know it could do that! Holy crap! Jesus Christ, so much destruction! Oh, damn! Glad a lot of them are underground. Such a cool shot. The tail is just absurdly long. It's like a snake. 
Looks like he feels bad for what he did. People are urged to remain indoors. Indoors. I'm getting out of there. <laughs> nope. Will the government distribute iodine tablets are urging residents to drink only bottled water? Yeah, this speaks parallels to the, the disaster in 2011. Government officials are racing to select an acting PM to fill the political vacuum. Wait, did the PM die? Did I miss that? I need information now. Where's Gojira? It's inactive near Tokyo Station. Gojira's radioactive plume blew out to sea. So then the hardest hit areas aren't just uninhabitable now. They're contaminated as well. Conditions are about as dire as they can get. Mm. They're all dead. The Prime Minister and the Chief Cabinet Secretary. Holy sh- Don't go to pieces! We'll just make do with the few staff that's left! Calm down first, okay? Yeah. Dramatic drink ever. Ow! <laughs> I'm sorry. That's right, it's coming back to me. The Prime Minister was in the helicopter that went down. That's right. Sometimes it takes a minute for me to register things. I knew this job wasn't going to be easy, but come on. Yeah, that guy. He's a hard man to read. I'm so happy to see you all. Thank you. Our hearts are broken over all those we've lost. We're all hurting. But I assure you that together, we can and will prevail. Well, let's get to it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where are we with the freezing plan? We've got several private companies formulating different blood procoagulants. We're hoping at least one of them will work. Samples retrieved. Orders? Send the remainder to any P3-level lab, public or private one. Or these samples are classified substances. I know, but we need diverse info on Gojira. I agree. No change to radiation levels. They're still reading below one sievert. Still sleeping. So a U.S.-Japan Gojira research coalition? The way I see it, the more knowledge, the better. Might as well. This is from the GSDF's the latest unmanned thing. surveillance system. <laughs> Too much radiation. It appears that Godzilla has something like a built-in phased array radar. Then that means it can instinctively detect and intercept any approaching objects. Using our nuclear wisdom is the only road to salvation for mankind. Are you serious? I'm not really supposed to be cut. sharing this info, but the defense secretary wants to use a warhead against Godzilla. The UN's ready to move too, and the Security Council has set up a multinational strike force. Hmm. The missile they're going to use is the B-83, which is 75 times stronger than the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. That's a big boom. But I don't want to be here for it. I won't see a third bomb. Good shot. Showcasing all the infrastructure that Tokyo has built up. It'll all be she destroyed. The last two. Wow. Round zero. That was, uh, unnerving. Yes. A resolution has just been passed by the United Nations Security Council, granting a U.S.-led force to exterminate Gojira. We must obey it. Do you have to, though? I mean, I know it's an international organization, but do you have to? Isn't there some other way? Think of the devastation it will cause to Tokyo. Post-war Japan is a tributary state. Post-war extends forever, huh? This is a bad choice. Mm-hmm. I agree. Can they somehow get Godzilla out into the water and then drop the bomb? Or does it have to be in the middle of the city? It's our only viable option right now. My team and I are on the verge of a breakthrough with our freezing method. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the blood coagulate. We're faced with two choices. Incinerate it with a nuke or freeze it with a drug. Man is more frightening to me than Gogeta. <laughs> Facts. The UN will be giving time for evacuation. That's our window for finishing the freezing plan. To freeze all of Gojira's blood, we've estimated we'll need 672 kiloliters of coagulant. Every chemical company you know, contact them now and ask- Panama! So what's the time frame? Like, when is the US gonna drop the bomb? Still frozen. Gojira's energy beam will be restored to previous levels in 360 hours. That means the creature is likely to resume activity in 15 days. Thank you for that. I was actually trying to do the math in my head. 3.6 million people? That's two insane. Weeks. Yeah. We don't have the manpower. Relocating that many people in two weeks is impossible. We can't do it. For the sake of all those people's lives, you have to. It's easy for them to stay with us in far off Asia. They told me they'd do the same if Gojira would have surfaced in New York. Well, they will, though. God, look at all those buses. Yeah, why don't you just get him on ships? There you go. So Goromaki hated the radiation sickness that took his wife's life. He hoped to find a way to render radioactive materials harmless. 
Well, if something like that could be possible, then so too could the creation of new material. Mm. He must have feared the military would use it. Similar to uh, the oxygen displacer. Leaves his data with a note. Or is it the oxygen destroyer? I can't. I can't ever remember the name of it. God, it's scary. Ah! We have no certainty the coagulant will be effective. We raise the certainty of it working through a series of tests. Exactly. She's just so focused on her work all the time and so diligent. I love it. Dude's always running. Hey, we've done it. Yeah. Here, look. These text overlays are weird. This inhibitor could mean the blood coagulant plan is still a viable option and one that might actually work. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Maybe he saw the arrival of Gojira as a test. Does his do as you please include nuclear weapons? Do as you please, right? I feel like I'm missing a lot of information in this movie, but I'm still very much enjoying it. That's a pretty hard thing to do in this country. Minus two days or hours. Just two days left on the two days. Thank you. Every time I ask a question, this movie answers it. I love that. Three days in order to make the amount of coagulant we need. I've got a French contact. Would you like for me to reach out? Yes, please. We need 24 more hours, people. Sir. Sir. I love the teamwork in this movie. I love how no one's getting stonewalled. Then let Operation Yashiori commence. Begin. Woo. Bullet train. Still so creepy. How I was just sitting there. Well, that woke it up. Couldn't they have just stuck it while it was asleep? Oh, there it goes. So insanely cool. God. God. They've stopped discharging from the fin. Something strange is happening. That tail. I knew I had some. Was gonna do something. It can discharge too. Crazy how his jaw gets split like that. Stationary blasting, ignite! Oh man, yeah, implode a building. Wow. Damn. Golly. So much destruction. Oh man. Oh, it's getting crushed. Holy crap. First platoon four! Cranes with syringes. I still don't understand why they couldn't have just done that when he was asleep, though. Oh, his mouth wasn't open. That makes sense. Oh, that's crazy. Godzilla dental work. Injecting coagulant! 20% of supply administered. Now's our chance. Deploy all train bombs! That's cool how they just have, like, trains as, like, bombers. <laughs> that's so cool! Woo! Platoons, forward! Man, they had all these guys at the ready. Were they, like, right there? I mean... Looks like he's about to get back up, though. He's twitching. Oh, and his tail fell. Oh, man. 100% used! Did it work? Nope. Ooh, and the tail's at the ready, too. Frozen place. Whoa. Operation Yashiori. Did it work? To be a success. Still the uh, threat of the, the nuke, though. We were down to just under an hour. But we wouldn't have even had that if the PM hadn't been able to convince France. <laughs> Thank you, France. <laughs> Gojira's new isotope. It'll be gone in two to three years. Right. That's good news for the residents of Tokyo. Yeah. First time she smiled. Proud of her work. Yeah, yeah, you got to decontaminate everything. The capital and the government are in shambles right now. It's a good opportunity to rebuild it right. And speaking of which... Offer him a position? The event that will happen afterwards mm -hmm. is the next election. We'll need a new leader and a new cabinet. This country was devastated before, but it rose from the ashes. Yay! Yep, it really is frozen to death. I guess now's not the time to quit. Because things aren't settled. Not yet, at least. Such a nerving cut. I don't trust anything. What the hell? God, that was creepy. Oh, I love it. All right. Okay, that was Shin Godzilla. That was an interesting movie. I like that it took the perspective of 
people trying to solve a problem. And I chalk that up to how some of the older films that might have been where you have like this group, this think tank of policymakers, um, decision makers and scientists all getting together and trying to solve the problem. And it was refreshing to know that they were all working together. There wasn't someone's, you know, undermining their authority, like in 2012, where it's like, don't let these people aboard. You're going to, it's like, should you be responsible for the threat of the human race? Like, I hate characters like that. It was refreshing to not have a single person like that in here. They were all trying to work for the collective good of this problem that was not just a threat to Tokyo, but to humanity. And the action was incredible. The effects were good. I very much enjoyed it. There hasn't been a single Godzilla movie I haven't liked. I will say the first incarnation of the monster was totally not what I was expecting. And it was kind of jarring to the point where I'm like, is this a baby? And then they explain that it evolves. It was also refreshing that every time I had a question, it was answered in literally the next two seconds. It's, uh, it's very aware of itself. The editing is a little choppy. At some points, I didn't know what was going on. The very, the first five minutes were just, I didn't know what was going on. But uh, it, it got better as it went on. So I think if I had to give it any constructive feedback, that would be it. That was a very good movie. Thank you so much, y'all, for the suggestions in the comments. Please leave more suggestions down below. Um, I know I get quite a few of you saying it's like, start here with uh, Godzilla vs. Destroya, then work your way this way. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. I will keep doing Godzilla content. I just won't do them like every single week so yeah that'll do it for me uh if you like this video please like and subscribe um ring the bell for notifications thank you for tempering your expectations with me today my name is matt and i will see you later